Taking a look at today's equity index futures markets, let's look at the S&P 500 future as we did realize some uh, lower volatility today. We did not see quite as volatile of session uh, as we did see last week throughout the week. Uh, some uh, price action above and below break even throughout the day uh, as we move towards the end of the day. The equity index futures markets mostly closed lower on the day. The S&P 500 future down about 40 basis points or just under half a percent, although it did spend a couple of moments throughout the day uh, on two different occasions uh, above uh, or in positive territory. So again, as I mentioned, not quite the volatility that we experienced last week. Now you look at the price action, we're looking at the S&P 500 future right around uh, 4,003, so just holding above that 4,000 level. And uh, I think when you look at some of the factors contributing to today's price action, uh, a couple of things. Number one, the digestion of some of the narratives and some of the price action that we had realized last week as we hit, uh, again, new lows for the year for basically all the major uh, averages coming off those lows, but still at the low end of the range. And I think that that played into the price action today. China data points this morning. We get to get some disappointing uh, data points out of China and also central bank activity with a lot of uh, central bank officials speaking and indicating the potential challenges to uh, growth moving forward. Also, we did get some narratives out of the U.S. today about the uh, revisions to potential revisions to GDP moving forward, which were revised lower. So I think that was played into the price action today. Interesting dynamic though today when you look at just general trends. Now we did see the NASDAQ futures down over 1% today and the S&P uh, Russell futures down about a half a percent. Uh, the Dow futures just down slightly, uh, but the dynamic today was that treasury markets did rally further today. So even though we did see the treasury markets holding ground and then actually uh, rallying, pushing the 10 year yield down to uh, 285 basis points, uh, that wasn't enough of a catalyst, at least from a rotation standpoint, uh, to uh, maintain this, uh, what was perceived as positive uh, reaction last week to maybe some moderation uh, in the treasury market. So that did not necessarily carry through today. So I think a lot of market participants are going to be watching that this week, as well as the data points coming out this week were highlighted by retail sales.